What's up, guys? Whoa, it was intense. <laughs> was that too intense for you? Oh, Maybe. you're not even in the picture. Well, whose fault is that? Now you are. What's going on, guys? I'm Ryan Roots. And I'm Allie Roots. And together, and together we, we are Rally Roots. Roots. Welcome to another one of our videos. Today should be an interesting day. Yeah. We're starting the day off with a local pick. A fellow reseller who's seen our YouTube videos reached out to us and was like, hey, I'm only like 20 minutes away from you guys. I'm gonna be having a garage sale this weekend, but I have all of this inventory. If you guys wanna come see what I have and get first pickings, basically, um, you're welcome to. So we just rolled up to his house and we're gonna go in there and see. He asked for us not to film in his house, which is totally fair enough. But if we find anything in there, he's fine with us showing what we bought. Cool. So first things first today, started off with a little picker picker picking picking thing. Pick, 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 pick. <laughs> okay, let's go. Guys, look at all the stuff we got. There's some really cool stuff here. So that ended up actually being a really good pick. Um, and the guy that we met was a really, really cool dude as well. So we made a nice, cool connection and we got some really good stuff. I guess that we'll kind of show you guys what we got. I'm not gonna say like prices or what it'll sell for stuff, but there's definitely some neat stuff in here that you guys probably haven't seen before. So let's go through the stuff that we just picked there. We'll start with this jacket. This jacket is so cool. It's vintage starter. And I think it's Starter Pro Line. Yeah, Starter Pro Line. It's got these crazy awesome patches on it. Definitely vintage. This colorway is very, very desirable with the older San Francisco 49ers jacket. So that's the front of it. It also has these cool pins up here as well. I really like these old pins. And then on the back, it's got this really cool embroidered 49ers patch. So that's a really, really cool find. Look at Ryan trying to organize this pile. <laughs> okay. Let me show you guys some of the other cool finds that we got. Um, this is a, what are you, chalk line? Look at this Miami, Damn. Miami Hurricanes chalk line jacket. Hey babe, that's some heat. Ah, it's not though, because it's not Miami heat. Oh, at least I know that they're called the Miami heat. <laughs> We've got a new with tags, Mitchell and Ness jersey. Cooperstown collection by Mitchell and Ness. Really nice, brand new with tags. Look at the original price tag on that. The original price tag oh. on that, crazy, right? We got this really cool Mickey Mouse like baseball shirt jersey. I just liked it. That was pretty cool. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Here's a vintage Majestic brand baseball jersey. <laughs> just Beltran in the back. Oh my god. <laughs> Pause yeah. for effect. It's nice. Allison picked this up. Allison picked this up for herself. Because it's it's cute. Look at it. It is cute. Look at the beading on the back. You see that? No, look at the beads. That's cool. It's actually a good brand too, babe. Frontier Collection. Oh, okay. Yeah. Should we sell it? Maybe. Oh, 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 oh. It's mine. Uh, we got two military field coats, some new Nike jerseys. This is a vintage Giants pullover crew neck. Another vintage piece. This is Adidas. The big Adidas logo on the back. Allie bought some LuLaRoe, right? Some LuLaRoe stuff? Yeah, those ones had high comps. Cool. This I thought was really cool. It's a Star Wars oh. track jacket. What? And it is one of the older ones. If you look at the tag, it's one of the older ones. We've got a vintage Boston College hockey jersey. Pretty cool. Some Sons of Anarchy. Oh, <laughs> son. This is sweet though. It's got the patches all over it with the frills. It looks so little. Yeah, it's like an alley It was size. my size. I was wearing it. It's cool. Ryan liked it when I was wearing it. We've got an Olympic windbreaker. Pretty sure we've sold the same one in the past before. I think we have. A nice Indiana puffer jacket. This is also starter. Look at the, uh, look at the zipper on that bad boy. It's pretty cool. Um, and then we got this Joe Rocket. It's a Joe Rocket like motorcycle jacket. These aren't worth that much money, but kind of just threw it in. Ooh, that butt. Mm. Yeah. Get some. Yeah, Cobra Kai thing. This is really cool. Uh, I gotta look up my comps to be more accurate with it, but it's like a Michael Jackson thriller jacket. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Bear, 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 bear. 
I don't know how to do the dance, so am I doing it? <laughs> and then last but not least, this one I'm keeping for myself because... This is the grail. Whoa! Boom. This is like pretty much the surf style grail of windbreakers. It's got the like fluorescent purple with the surf style spell out on the collar and the patch. That's awesome. I think That's it's awesome. called oil slick. Oil slick? Yeah. It's sick. I mean, if we were to sell it, we'd probably get like at least 50 bucks for it, but. Keeping it. It's going in my personal collection. Woo woo. I feel like we sold something similar, similar. to that, but not not as many graphics. Tell on me it. more. Not as much graphics. It was just more like a plain uh, purple thingy. Who yeah. gave it? <laughs> and then just some other quick pickups as well. This is a hat, new with tags. Um, there's Miami Heat, babe. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's a Mitchell and Ness Miami Heat hat. Exciting. Uh, we've got a brother, what is it? P it Touch like model PTD 200 BT, new with the box. Makes labels, you know, my OCD wants that. Mm. We've got some Sony VHS tapes. This will be an Amazon product, sells very well for us. Some more Sony tapes. We've Ooh. got a Burberry and a Versace sunglass case. These are cool. These aren't worth a whole lot, probably like 15, 20 bucks, but they'll sell fast. Some more tapes, these ones are Fuji. Got a Samsung, which one are you? It's a Samsung Galaxy Tab 4, SMT230NU. Working? Wow. Mm -hmm. You're really good at reading, babe. Thanks. <laughs> uh, two Mario games, Paper Ooh. Mario for the Wii and Super Mario Brothers for the Wii. Ooh. And they are in there. Ooh. In the cases. Game Boy Advance in the case. I think that, which one are you? Actually, no, this is a Nintendo DS. Nintendo DS in the Nerf case. That cool. is so cool. Yep. I really like that case. Um, what's in here? We got another, another Nintendo DS. With a stylus. With a little stylus. We've got a... Sony Cybershot. Is it? Did Kelly get it right? Sony Cybershot. What? <laughs> Very cool. I had that one in silver. What else is in here? There's some more games in here. Games. Some uh, Nintendo games. Lots of games. Oh my God, those Game Boy games? Some Game Boy games, another Nintendo DS. Another Nintendo DS. Whoa. So we got All three right. DS's. Ah, drop the stylus, get it, get it. Got it. Some more media. And the last thing is we got a tool. So this is a Bosch. Five, two, three, two, four, saw. You like my reading? <laughs> Tell me about that tool, babe. Ryan knows tools. <laughs> um, and it has like oh, yeah. the batteries with it and extra parts and the charger and all that good stuff. So that's it. Got that's it. everything that we got. Yeah, so that's everything that we picked up from that local buy. It worked out pretty well for us. Yeah. Um, like I said, we're not gonna tell you exactly how much we paid or how much it's worth, but let's just say that we should we should at least double our money on it after yeah. paying fees and shipping and everything. So it was a good deal for us and it was a good deal for um, the person that we met. And we made a friend. We made a new connect and a new friend, yeah, which is pretty cool. Awesome. So cool guy. Yeah. All right, there's the pick. On with the rest of the day. Callie, how did shipping go today? Your hair. My hair matches. Duper. My hair matches your bandana. Nice. Check it out, guys. I'm just gonna give you a quick look at why we are not buying any more inventory right now. <laughs> Check this out. That all needs to be listed. That pile over there needs to be listed. Everything over there needs to be listed. That box of clothing back there needs to be listed. Yeah. Uh, that alley needs to be listed. <laughs> go for like five ten dollars yeah or best offer free shipping i do come with pre-existing medical issues <laughs> that, so there's that so yeah if you don't see us sourcing for the next couple days that's um that's why <laughs> callie where are you back to work <laughs> hey <laughs> oh my gosh that's amazing that's a cool jersey <laughs> All right, Callie, we're gonna leave. Can you, can you help me put that real heavy box in my car, please? That one? Yeah. How heavy is it? 41 pounds. All right, sure. You know, part of the job description was must be able to lift 57 tons or more. I don't 
recall reading that anyway. And you're supposed to give us ice cream every day. I would get you some tomorrow. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, see ya. I'll help you with this box and then feel free to, um, to... Look at these and walk away from them. Yeah. <laughs> All right guys, so we're heading home, but I just got an email from our printer, which we get our stuff printed locally so that we can pick it up and avoid like high shipping fees and stuff like that. But um, our printer just emailed me and said that our thank you cards are ready. So mm -hmm. we should probably go pick those up, yeah? Yeah. All right, it's right down the street, thankfully. Um, yeah, let's go get them. Okay, whoa, whoa, <laughs> what, is, what is happening here? Um, thank you cards are here, guys. We buy these 5,000 at a time. And um, the company that we use, I'm actually not going to link them. We used to link them, but their prices have gone up a little bit. And their customer service is it's the bad. worst. Yeah, so I don't want to link them to give them more business. Um, but the, we got our new thank you cards, and that's what, uh, that's what matters. So let's show you guys what our thank you cards look like. Cool. I mean, I will say that the company does do a good job. So here's our thank you cards. This is for our The Hip Lion store. There's the front it just says thanks for your purchase with a nice little blurb at the bottom and then the back says please don't forget to leave us positive feedback and we do a little 10% off coupon as well for people so yeah pretty cool you're every, pretty cool <laughs> every package that we ship out gets a thank you card and we have noticed a big difference between not including thank you cards and including thank you cards we noticed that our our feedback like actually getting feedback from customers goes up around 30 percent so I highly suggest that you guys put thank you cards in your packages. We're home. Hi, girl. Hi. Lichi, you want some love too? Okay. Good girl. That's a good girl. Okay. All right, guys, we're back home. Allison is working on her newest YouTube video on her channel, which is Ally Crafts. Pretty cool. Ally Crafts, a little. A little. <laughs> By the way, because it is a question that comes up sometimes, we use the program called Final Cut Pro X to edit, and we edit on MacBooks. So I know a few people have asked us what like software we use and what equipment we use to edit. So there you go. Now you know. So Ali's going to sit back there and edit and do voiceovers and stuff, and I will, I don't know, because you have my computer. What should I do? I think you should take a breather. I could play with a bow dog. Take a breather. Yeah, walk the bulldog and play with her. Fine. <sighs> Breather. Mochi, you wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Come on, let's go. Okay, okay, hold on. Come here, come here. Hey, what are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? Mochi, come on, let's play. That's a good girl. Good girl. You got a donut. Yay! It actually feels kind of nice to just take a break in the middle of the day and hang out with Mochi. Where'd you go, Bulldog? <laughs> nice. Oh, Mochi's tired. Momo. She wants me. How's your video editing going? It's good. Yeah? Stuff. I just have a few more things to voice over. Cool. It's going well? I don't know, we'll find out. Testing, testing, one, two, Ali. One, two, three, testing, testing. That's not gonna make it in the video. <laughs> Quick break to admire how cool our Dragon Ball Z pop collection is. <laughs> come on, come on, that's awesome. Don't forget about that one. Ooh, yeah. snap. All right, guys. I think that, um, I think that that is gonna be about it for this video. Hopefully you guys picked up some some good things maybe that you weren't aware of that are worth some money. I know we didn't really discuss like what those items were worth that we bought today, but 
Most of those items have decent value. Remember that in our type of reselling business, we typically won't buy anything that we can't sell for at least like $25. Our average selling price on our main eBay store is $40, I believe is our average selling price right now. We try to look for items that we can at least make a bit of money on. So again, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate it. And if you, uh, if you did like this video, make sure to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel if you're not subscribed yet. And we will see you guys on the next video. Peace out, bye.